Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News and I'm joined by the Queen of Northampton, Chantelle Cameron. Chantelle, very dominant performance if I do say so myself. How was that against Ella Mekalit? Yeah, massive respect to her. What a tough opponent she is. She's a tough woman. I was landing some shots and I was thinking, because yeah, your head is solid. <laughs> and I was hurting her as well, but she just kept coming back. But uh, a lot of respect for her. She's she'll be a she'll be a champion. She's very, very good. Very tough. Definitely. Ladies. Definitely. Were you surprised that kind of obviously like where she's come from the lower weights, obviously coming up in weight as well. Were you surprised that how how tough she was in there tonight? Yeah, yeah. She like I wouldn't say she had a big punch or she was like physically strong. She was just taking shots and kept coming. She's got a high work rate, so she'll cause a lot of people troubles. But I've got a high work rate too, so that's why our styles actually gelled very well. It definitely did as well. I was just saying to you off camera, um, 95, 95 was a bit of a rogue scorecard. I mean. I don't want to give you flashbacks to Dublin, but was it was it kind of a well, yeah? Where was it? Was it was I was it? like, oh no, not in Birmingham. <laughs> no, it was. It. I mean, less said about that the better, because I thought that was a bit of a disgraceful scorecard. But got the got the win, got that interim title as well. We spoke about this in the week, so I won't go too much into it. But interim champion, mandatory to Katie Taylor, trying to force that trilogy fight as well. Yeah, I would love the fight. I uh, I want to settle the score and I want my redemption. But again. Queensbury, uh, George Warren, and they want to push it and make the fight happen, but it's got to be two ways. So it's up to Katie Taylor and Matchroom, but she's got to get through Amanda Serrano as well. But at the end of the day, I'm mandatory, and hopefully, sanctioning bodies will either she has to fight me or vacate if she wins. Definitely. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the question because I wasn't. I don't want to dwell on Katie too much, but I think you've said on on record that you think Amanda's gonna win that win that uh, win that win that rematch with Katie. I mean, a fight with Amanda Serrano and yourself would still be a massive, massive fight for yeah. boxing, let alone women's boxing. I'm a massive fan of Amanda as well. I'm a fan of Katie. Obviously, like we're rivals now because there's a bit of bad blood, but um, I'm a fan of both of them. And do you know what? Boxing is about sharing the ring with legends. And I want to remember my career as sharing the ring with legends. So whoever wins, it'll be it'll be an honour. Yeah. But I would love the trilogy with Katie Taylor because we need to set the score. I mean, I will be at both of those fights <laughs> wherever they are. Um, as well. I feel like I'm a broken record asking this question about your first fight with uh, Grant Smith, but obviously being in there for the ring for the first time is a bit different than doing the sparring and being in camp with him. I mean, how was it taking instructions from Grant during your first fight on your Queensbury debut as well? He was amazing. The whole corner was amazing. There's cool, calm, collected, uh, telling me the right information and it's good to get that one ticked off now when it's done. The first one's done, so now it's just easier. <laughs> Definitely as well. And also my final, where's the belt, Chantel? <laughs> In the changing room. <laughs> oh, I like, I like getting a photo of those belts. They're great. As well, Chantal, I'm going to give you the mic. Any final words for the fans? It was, it was quite loud in there tonight as well. The fans who came to watch you in Birmingham tonight. As we know, it's not too far from our hometown of Northampton as well. Uh, thank you for everyone that come up. My sponsors, my fans and my team as well for believing in me. And I hope, to, I, hope I get to come back to Birmingham soon. It's nice to be boxing in the UK. And thank you for everyone tuning in and sending the love. It's very nice. Definitely. Chantal Cameron, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you.